RealView has developed what is probably the most advanced 3D interactive visualization system. Our holographic system allows physicians to work with the patient's true 3D anatomy, appearing as precise volumetric holograms floating in midair. There is no eyewear, no 2D screen, we are presenting the real thing. We have overcome some of the greatest challenges in the field of digital holography. Unlike typical 3D stereoscopic solutions, which project a mere illusion of an image, our technology accurately reconstructs actual points of light in mid-air. We provide a hyper-realistic user experience presenting high quality, full color, and real-time true holography. We've invented a concept that we call image intimacy, where we allow the users the full freedom to engage with the 3D image, literally. In our system, the users can reach into the image, rotate it, move it, zoom it, or manipulate it in any way they see fit. As an interventional cardiologist, I depend on medical imaging to guide me through my procedures. As an interventional cardiologist, I depend on medical imaging to guide me through my procedures. The first in man trials with the RealView holographic system, conducted in my cath lab, allowed me to actually work with live holograms in a true clinical 3D setting and to explore the unique benefits of a genuine 3D environment. For the first time in my career, I had the patient's virtual heart literally beating in the palm of my hand. I could freely crop the hologram to define a desired plane, giving me comprehensive understanding of the spatial anatomy. I was able to view it from any angle, rotate it, zoom and move it about as I wished. 3D rotational angiogram of a patient with a bicaval bidirectional glen. And you can see the contrast in both KV filling the pulmonary arteries. And as this rotates, we acquire the volumetric data from the Philips system and then create this hologram in real time. And it's floating in the air, the whole volume. And as you see it rotate, you can appreciate the medial steinal wires in the front and the pulmonary arteries at the back hanging there as a total volume that I can manipulate to any angle just by touching the image with this pointer and putting it into a position of the anatomy that I want to examine. And here I can see the right SVC, the right pulmonary artery and its branches. This overrides the selective coronary of the left. So as I right rotate this now, we can easily see how the balloon overrides that coronary artery. And as I put my finger here, and actually hold it, I can appreciate this true volume of where the balloon is in relation to the coronary artery. So I move this now and rotate this to a heads down position, which will probably give me the best view. Now we have the amplatzer inside here, I'm just pointing at the amplatzer device, and you can see the mitral valve orifice, and I'm actually holding the heart in my hand. So now let's concentrate on the mitral valve. So we rotate this around, and you're going to get to see the, both the tricuspid and the mitral from the atrial and the ventricular aspects. 